Hey, what's going on guys? This is Phoenix of Mach 4 Gaming and today I'm playing some Drop Zone on Dome. Gonna be using the MP5 with Red Dot and uh, gonna be using the Javelin as a backup. Um, I, I've been using this class lately. I know it's, you know, one of the weirdest combinations you'll see. But uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun to use actually and uh, I've been actually playing really well. Um, mostly relying on the MP5 obviously, but every now and then I'll uh, <laughs> whip out my attached javelin and uh, you know pick up a couple of kills uh, here and there especially on a gameplay like drop zone it's very useful I find to have a, a javelin just call it in on um, uh, where uh, the drop zone is and you can pick up a bunch of kills there you can see right there I pick up uh, two easy kills with a javelin and uh, finish off by shooting a knife in a guy so uh, you know, this class has been working for me. I've been uh, trying it out here and there. Um, I don't exactly remember what my perks are. I believe it's Sleight of Hand, um, Blast Shield. I want to say Blast Shield and uh, probably Stalker. Um, Stalker is pretty useful for me with both guns because um, you know, I don't like to hip fire much, even if you see it there. And wait, that, no, I must have a steady aim on this class. Sorry for that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got steady aim, um, mostly because uh, with submachine guns it's pretty easy to just hip fire and uh, you know, pick up a bunch of kills like that. Um, you know, it's something that works for me. It's kind of a noob tactic. I know everybody kind of rips on that, like, oh, you just hip fire your uh, your SMG. But um, I'm using a, a less common SMG, uh, the MP5, and uh, you know. If I was using a P90, I can understand why people would kind of hate on me and be like, Oh, you scrub, you're just <laughs> hip-firing your SMG. And, you know, there's no skill required in that. And yeah, even with the MP5, it's pretty damn easy. But, um, you know, it's still less, less easy to use than the P90 or, let's say, the MP7 or something like that. Um, the other guns are, I find, a lot more overpowered, and it's a lot easier to do that. People kind of rip on me a little bit more, and it's more understandable. So, I mean, you know, I'm one to just, you know, kind of disregard what people say, like, oh, it's a noob tactic, and uh, whatever, and I don't, like, really call people out in uh, in online games unless it, like, you know, gets to a point where it's, like, seriously, or uh, they're hacking or something. Um, you know, but if they're just, uh, if they start to, like, really destroy me, I'll start to get upset, or I'll just, you know, attack out because. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. But I won't ever really like rip into somebody unless it really starts to piss me off, and I'm like doing well, and they ruin me by just continuing with noobish tactics. So, um, you know, I, I figure, you know, my ruling is like it's put in the game for a reason. Um, so it's up to you to use it or not use it. It's your choice. It's available to anybody to use. So you can't really like complain or anything. It's not like it's a gun that only he gets or he's like hacked it or something you know like I said the only time I'd really rip into people online is if they're hacking because you know that that's taking the fairness out of the game it's changing the game from the way it was intended to be played and you know what that that's that's what bugs me like when people do that I mean you know it's, it, it comes to a point where it's not fun anymore and you just you know this one person is screwing with everybody trying to piss everybody off and you know, I mean, <laughs> clearly it works, because we all do get pissed off when there's hackers. You know, and me being a, a PC player for COD, um, hacking is a lot more common than you'll see in, in consoles. So, um, you know, i got to deal with that a lot more often than, like, let's say the other guys like OJ and, uh, and Rigid and, and Mr. Olive. Because, I mean, they play on the consoles, and I'm, you know, dedicated to playing on PC, and, uh, you know, I enjoy the PC, uh, you know, mostly for like the controls and the feel of it and, you know, the ease of just getting to be at my computer relaxed, uh, have my music playing and just, you know, shooting some noobs in uh, Call of Duty, so that's enjoyable for me. I don't like having, you know, controller in my hands, I'm not too good at it, even though like on Black Ops PS3 I was pretty good, um, I've always preferred having... You know, keyboard and mouse, you know, that that's just like the perfect uh, setup for me, I mean, um, 
you know, it's enjoyable for me, and everybody has their preferences. So, uh, you know, whether you rather a controller or a keyboard and mouse, that's up to you to decide. I know a lot of people favor the consoles more. PC gaming is, you know, I think less common, especially for games like Call of Duty. Um, you know, and a lot of people who've tried it are just like, you know, oh, I can't, I can't play with a keyboard and a mouse. It's too complicated, too many buttons. Um, what I mostly like about the keyboard is that it gives you that freedom of, you know, just mapping out the controls how you want. It allows for complete customizability. Uh, you can just put it however you want, you know, whatever feels comfortable for you, whatever you'll remember better. So, like, you know, every person's um, keyboard setup can be different unless you stick to the defaults. There's more likely you can have something in common. Like, personally, my setup is practically at the defaults. I have a couple weird controls that, you know, some people be like, how could you use that? And other people are like, oh, I use that too. And it's, you know, it's just what you're used to. Maybe you're used to a different first-person shooter on PC. And so you try to relate the controls a little bit because you're used to, like, certain buttons being certain actions. You know, that's kind of how it is for me. I mean, like, um, for me, I scroll, I use the scroll wheel to change guns because when I play Counter-Strike, that's how I would switch guns. Um, and I'll use, like, other buttons that are different too. I mean, uh, I don't want to go through them right now. I can't, it's, I can't get it out of the top of my head, but, um, you know, I'll look at my brother's controls when he, whenever you would play PC and I'd be like, like how, do you, how do you do that? It, it doesn't work for me. It's just so confusing. Like, if I would go on his computer to play, uh, it'd be stuck on his controls. I'm like, why is it not working? But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, they just go ahead and change. It's, it's not much of a difference. I think we have three buttons that are different or something. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this quick commentary over a pretty decent game. I know I haven't done Modern Warfare 3 commentary in a while, so... I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, kind of a free ball commentary today, but... I just want to put up a video for you guys. I know I haven't really done anything solo in a while, so... Here you go, 36 and 12 drop zone on Dome. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and, uh, I'll catch you next time. Take care.